Hey everyone, I'm Mark Graffinini, I'm managing partner of Carestone, and today we're going to talk about LLC versus corporate form for companies looking for angel and venture capital. There's a big misunderstanding among companies these days in terms of what kind of corporate form they should start off with when raising angel and venture capital. So there are a number of companies that we see that start off as LLCs, mostly because an advisor or someone says that they're easier to form or start, or maybe they're just more commonly known. But what I will tell you is that almost no formalized venture capital group or angel capital group for that matter will typically invest in an LLC. And there are numerous reasons. Number one, first and foremost, the existence of qualified small business stock. So section 1202 of the Internal Revenue Code allows corporations to issue something called qualified small business stock to founders, investors, etc. And what that allows is for an exclusion of up to $10 million of gain upon an exit. That's not available to any other corporate form. So number one reason is companies start off as C corporations primarily to take advantage of that. Number two, all of the model legal documents for fundraising, both at the seed level and the venture capital level, are premised around the idea of a Delaware C corporation. Now there are very few exceptions to this where it makes more sense to be a, uh, a corporation of another state, etc. This is the commonly accepted practice uh, for most companies to be a corporation. Most of the documents, legal terminology, and concepts revolve around that. Number three, corporations are allowed to issue incentive stock options. Incentive stock options are the equity incentives that corporations give to their employees to incentivize them to work toward exit. Few, no other, corpor- no other uh, uh, entity form permits a company to issue incentive stock options. So if you have an LLC and you give someone options, what you're doing is issuing non-statutory options or NSOs that don't have those same tax advantages. Number four, the corporate system is just more well-developed. So although LLCs have been around for a little while, the body of law that governs how corporations are governed is just more advanced in Delaware and has been around longer than other types of forms. So they're the preferred jurisdiction for most investors and others. So I know I've just covered a lot of ground pretty quickly and a lot of these concepts may be new to you. These are here to help you, but you can also get more help by following our blog at carestone.com by engaging with the data at vc.carestone.com, by commenting and subscribing, and straight up emailing us the old fashioned way. Join our email list to get more updates on these and other topics, and let us know how we can help. Our goal is to help you succeed.